From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big morning, a big early morning of LA with incredible great details about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021, direct from Santa Monica. In this recording, we go over past your $3.5 trillion recon. It passed the subcommittee of the House with the $3.5 trillion cluster number one, two, and three in there. But in an exclusive breaking today, incredible details, as now the progressive caucus wing of the Democratic Party is now using this channel and this recordings and the advocacy of its viewers to push the recon over the finish line. This is a major developing detail, and I'll have all the details in this recording. Then we go over cluster number one's checks passed, cluster number two's checks passed, and three in there as well. These are big checks across the board for seniors, workers, individuals, individuals for hazard pay, cars, trucks, and students, and also cheaper prescription medication and free internet. Then we'll be going over the exciting details of third stimulus. We'll go over what the president did Friday and what the president said Saturday about your recon. We'll go over the three major wins the progressives had on this week with the blockage of the roads and bridges. But then we'll be going over the big exclusive unearthed and now happening as the progressive wing is now relying upon your advocacy and this channel and its reporting for your recon. It's a big developing detail, and we have all the credible details starting right now on this early morning's broadcast, because the toast is toasting, the butter is butting, and the coffee is brewing, and this is Early Morning's LA. Hey, good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day across the globe. It's a beautiful day here in Santa Monica, California, but the president having meetings all weekend long about your recon. I'll be going over all the details and what's happening. We'll be going over the past $3.5 trillion recon. It has checks across the board in there for you, workers, seniors, and also the home and college students. We'll go over a little bit about third stimulus, and then we'll be cutting to the big shocker, an exclusive as now the number one legislator on the recon says they are relying upon my videos, this channel, and your advocacy to show the importance of stimulus during the negotiations with the moderate Democrats. This is a big one. It's a game changer, and I'm going to be detailing it in this video all week long, this major game-changing event, and it's all here, so subscribe. This is Allied, part of America's fastest-growing channel across the board. Hit that subscribe button right now. I want you a part of the incredible family. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record in one year, next stop one million. Like the video and consider becoming a member. It was a week ago, on a Saturday, when a $3.5 trillion recon passed the subcommittee of the House. I delivered the breaking news as soon as it happened. Broadcast media never even covered it. Print media never even covered it. YouTube channels never covered it. Over the last week, I covered excruciating details of all the big money under all these pat clusters passed. And you would barely see it anywhere in any place of broadcast media. This is why things have changed with this channel. Let's go over all the incredible details, starting with each of the clusters. I'm going to go over cluster number one pass, then cluster number two. We'll go over cluster number three. I'll go over those IRS and monthly stimulus checks that the legislators still this week said they're included in there. And then we'll be cutting to this big exclusive as legislators are now relying upon the videos of this channel and your advocacy to show the moderate Democrats, the recon is desired by Americans. This is huge. It's a game changer. You're going to hear in this video. You're going to hear it all day today. You're going to hear it all this week as well as the story is still developing. But first, let's cut to the first cluster. Past. These are hazard pay. Checks for seniors, workers, uh, it, it, children, $51,000 of MSCs, home repairs, uh, then money for bikes, cars, trucks, and the home and college students. Let's get to them, starting with hazard pay. They got it in there with the earned income tax credit changed. It's an old tax code. They spread the eligibility, so they modernized the eligibility so more people qualify for it and increased the amount of money. A big win for this channel. The biggest play for advocacy for 
has a pay with no less than 300 videos in 2020 and early 2021 every single day on the hour by the hour we got it in there then they got up to four thousand dollars a year for caring for an elderly person at you at home this is huge then up to four thousand dollars for caring for a young child they got repairs of the home in there yes if you live in a low-income community the federal government will give you free money to repair the home then $51,000 of MSCs, monthly stimulus checks, got in there. It's the CTC, the child tax credit, broadening the eligibilities to now include non-biological parents and now expanding this lifetime. This is huge. How much is it? It's a lot. For a child, it would be approximately $300 every month, every month that the family qualifies every year, up to 18 years per child, which is about $51,000. Then they got money in there for college students, grants the universities, grants the student, and also the Pell's grant made tax-free. And then finally, wow, they got bikes, cars, and trucks, all electric, all U.S. manufactured, 15% for the purchase price of a new electric bike, uh, up to $7,500 for the purchase of a new electric car for personal use, a little bit more for business use, and then a truck for business use as well. Wow, that's cluster number one checks in there. In second, we're going to go over cluster number two pass, cluster number three pass, and the IRS stimulus checks that they say they're putting in there. And then the big exclusive come in from this channel. But first, let's take a detour for just a second to third stimulus. Wow. Additional $13 billion is going out to your city's county state for rent and utilities. So this is huge. And this money is really well needed. Treasury is happy to provide state and local governments with additional resources in time of need. We'll be cutting back to that later in this recording. Stay in the final 15 minutes of this video. There is a lot coming up in this video, including what the president said about your recon yesterday. Time for some more clusters checks. Let's cut to section number two. Cluster number two. Pass. They got those checks in there. These are huge. These checks are the following. They start with home, uh, paid family leave and paid medical leave. Remember the recon. The four stimulus recon is for everyone. It's nationwide, red states, blue states, and it's not COVID related. It's for everything and it's lifetime better changes to the systems of, across the country. So paid family leave, paid medical leave. How much is this? A huge amount. Under third stimulus was $1,700 a week if you make $70,000 or more per year. Then split in half, $35,000 a year, $800 a week. Split in half again, $50,000 annual salary, $400 a week. Paid family leave, what is that? You have to stay at home because your wife is pregnant. Paid medical leave, you have to stay at home because your son broke his leg. 11 other checks in the second cluster, deliciousness. Child care programs, checks, household tax credit checks. Then checks for dental, vision, hearing chair, and medical and Medicare eligibility checks. Wow. Then they got checks in there for weatherizing your home. Definitely you need to weatherize your home, especially if the moderate Democrats are on the roof. <laughs> As I said, always keep the moderate Democrats out of the house. <laughs> keep the moderate Democrats out of the house. You heard that, Nancy? Lock the door. <laughs> there we go. Then they got uh, checks for pre-kindergarten. And then they got tuition-free community college. Definitely need it so you can take that very popular class called What the World is L.A. Saying 101? It's the foreign language class. For people who say, I don't understand what you're saying. Yeah, it's called Los Angeles. It's a foreign dialect. <laughs> now you can take it. And there you go. Green energy checks in there as well. Hopefully uh, purple checks as well. <laughs> Purple energy checks as well in there. In a second, we'll go over the third cluster. But what's the president doing? Well, the president gave you one, two, three victories last week. I told you last week it didn't matter if the roads and bridges passes. But if it doesn't pass, oh, it's a huge win for you and your recon and the progressives. It didn't pass on Thursday. Called for, attempted to call for a vote. Couldn't. Then it was supposed to be called for a vote on Friday. Couldn't. And then Friday afternoon, the president told them, Everyone, the Democrats, you ain't getting a vote at all ever on your roads and bridges until you agree upon the recon. Wow, that's a huge one. I'll go over all the dramatics of what unfolded in that meeting later in this video. Stay in the final 15 minutes of this video. But first, let's cut to the big exciting details of the third set of checks. Wow, these are the president's checks, and they're really great. I like them because they are really quick paying checks. Free school meals for all checks, tax break checks, cheaper prescription medication checks, checks for free internet, checks for farmers, checks for clean energy, checks for workers like independent contractors, checks for seniors like lower eligibility age, checks for dental, checks for vision, and checks for hearing care. Well, two of the checks in this second cluster the president likes and I like because they're 
instant payment checks. They are automatically big payments. How does this work? One of them, cheaper prescription medication. How does this cheaper prescription medication works? Let's say you have to go to the pharmacy today. Hi, Mr. Pharmacist. Oh, what are you here for? Headache. Oh, you were listening to the moderate Democrats again. <laughs> How'd you know? Yeah. Can you give me a prescription for that? Yes. Um, midterm elections. <laughs> You got jokes, Mr. Pharmacist. Uh, no, I need a prescription for it. Okay, two $20 bills for the wallet. So then when you go back to refill those prescriptions, after this becomes law, uh, I have a headache again. Oh, they're still there? Yeah, unfortunately, they got reelected. Uh, we'll take one $20 bill out of your wallet. It's cheaper now. Instant savings. You keep an extra $20 bill in your wallet. Then they're going to get free internet. Huge free internet. Um, so that you'll just have to say, what's the... Wi-Fi connection. You want the username and password? Yeah. Uh, the username is Brian Reese DC. Uh, and then the password is Goth Gang. Go away. <laughs> wow. Then <laughs> we'll have more about this in a second. But now let's turn to those IRS monthly stimulus checks. Boy, this is big. The IRS monthly stimulus checks all this last week, viewers were reconfirmed by the same Democratic members that they're going in there. And this is huge. Because remember, when they passed that recon that Saturday night, Nancy Pelosi and the president immediately said, it's not a bill. It's a work in progress. You want to add stuff in there? You can add stuff in there. And that's, in fact, what Nancy Pelosi's office told viewers as channel. It's sort of like a bill envelope. You know, you want to add stuff in there? You can add stuff in there. And that's actually what Nancy Pelosi's office told viewers as channel before that Saturday. Well, guess what? After that Saturday, Bernie Sanders' office told three separate viewers as channel it's going in there after they advocate for it. Uh, Chuck Schumer's office told Donnie's wife uh, last Wednesday it's going in there. And also AOC and Jalapal's office as well. There you go. And that's on top of the 1,000 plus viewers. We'll go over a little bit more about that IRS stimulus check in the second half of this video. And then we'll be cutting to the big exclusive. You saw it first on Sunday. It's going to be detailed throughout this day. And it's going to be detailed all this week. It's huge. As now the number one man, the number one legislator in the democratic process for your recon, uh, now says they are relying upon this channel, its videos, and your advocacy for getting that recon uh, pitched and over the finish line with those moderate Democrats. I'll explain all the incredible details coming up in the second half of this video. But first, here's a little bit about the community page. we got a lot coming up in this video. It's a big show. I'll be going over also what the president said about your recon Friday and Saturday. Stay with me as Early Mornings Ally continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now, direct from, from Santa Monica, with incredible details about your fourth similar check of 2021. We'll go over that big exclusive and what the president said about your recon, what the Democrats are saying about this channel, and the viewers and your advocacy. It's huge. You're hearing it for the only time. 
on Alight. Then we'll be cutting to what's happening this week. We'll be cutting it back a little bit over to third stimulus. And we'll, of course, we'll be covering more about those IRS stimulus checks and what a thousand plus viewers have been told across the board. It's a big morning. I'm excited you're here. And the cough is brewing. Uh, is Bob Bacon in here? I mean, at least bring me some bacon. And with that, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers on YouTube record. I want you part of this incredible family. Hit that subscribe button. Like the video. It brings bacon. I, I, at least I hope it does. And consider becoming a member. Let's go over all the incredible details, starting with the big shocker that was first revealed on Sunday. As revealed on Sunday, this channel has now taken a transformative role on the passage of your recon. What's going on? It was eight weeks ago I told viewers this channel to advocate for the inclusion of a monthly stimulus check uh, and to advocate to show legislators, Democrats, senators, and House members why you need it. Advocacy involving your personal story, telling them your personal story of why you need it. And at the time I said, pick up the phone and call Bernie Sanders' office. And I said specifically that Sanders' office said they wanted to hear from you to know that he has your support. Then, I also told you in the last few weeks that, ultimately, if you flood the offices of congressional leaders with your support for the recon, telling your particular story of why you need it, then they're going to speak amongst themselves. They're going to talk to you amongst themselves say, have you been getting those L.A. phone calls? I have. Have you been getting those phone calls from those L.A. viewers? I have. And this shows us we got to do it. We got to do this recon. Here's the support from the American people. Here's the support from these viewers. Well... This is what's the breaking news, the exclusive unhatched on this channel, is that a top aide from Bernie Sanders' office tells one of the viewers of this channel that Sanders' office is now logging all your emails, all your phone calls, all your uh, phone calls to staffers, and all your messages advocating for inclusion of items in the recon and for passage of the recon as part of the negotiations with the moderate Democrats to say, hey, here you go. If you, as a moderate Democrat, don't believe that Americans don't want these things, here's the proof that they do. L8. L8, with the biggest footprint on the YouTube platform, the biggest footprint on social media, the biggest footprint there is, with millions of viewers and thousands of viewers calling up, flooding the telephone systems of Sanders, Sumer, Casey, Coons, Warren, and over on the House side, AOC, Omar, and Jalapal, calling in. We're getting all these phone calls. We're logging the phone calls. We're logging the comments. We're making, com we're making notes of about what the stories are to show you moderate Democrats that if you believe that there's no support for the American people, here's the support. This is huge. This is huge. Under Second Stimulus, this channel was the channel. This was the only place and the creation birthplace of a stimulus check in the second stimulus package. In fall of 2020, I came up with the idea to put a stimulus check in the CR, the continuing resolution. I came up with the idea, recorded a video, and told you to push. And that became the second stimulus check that was sent out to American people. Now, once again, history is repeating itself. As Bernie Sanders' office, Liz Warren's offices, are now taking note of this channel. And Warren's office specifically saying, We've heard the vo voicemails. We've seen the messages. We've seen the, 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 the emails from the LA viewers. And we are keeping note of them to show them to the moderate Democrats to say, hey, we need this. This is what you need. So continue to advocate, especially if you're from the states of West Virginia or Arizona, then please advocate. Please pick up the phone and advocate and say why you need this money. Call Sanders, call Schumer, call Warren, and advocate because this is critical. It was over the it was over uh, Friday when Ben Tur uh, Tur Tolchin, I was going to say Turchin, Tolchin, a Democrat pollster who worked for Bernie Sanders actually, said the following to broadcast media about how to approach the current situation of the recon with the moderates. He said, I was hoping that Biden would learn from the lessons of Obama, which is you got to fight for this thing. You can't just negotiate with Chris and Sinema. You got to go to war over this. This is what it needs. Tolchin said you should go to the senator's home state and speak to the citizens of West Virginia, which is Joe Manchin, Arizona, which is Chris and Sinema, and deliver a message to the residents of those states. You all want to support this, don't you? Then tell you the senators you should as well. This is exactly what I'm saying to you as well. The reason why 
this channel has resonated well among Sanders uh, aides is that this is a news channel. This is not a political channel. There are viewers that are Republicans that are picking the phone and calling Bernie Sanders' office saying, I want this. There are viewers that are Democrat. They're picking up the phone and calling Bernie Sanders' office and saying, I need this. There are people from red states making the phone call. There are people from blue states making the phone call. And if you are in Arizona, if you are in West Virginia, then when you make that phone call to Bernie Sanders' office, say that you're calling from LA, be professional, respectful, and say your story and say, I'm from the state of Arizona. I'm from the state of West Virginia. I want it to be known that I want it in my state and we need it. And there you go. And with that, let's go to those IRS stimulus checks. And the big exciting news is that since the passage of that $3.5 trillion recon in that subcommittee, the Democrats have still sat there including it. Let's go over what happened eight weeks ago. Eight weeks ago, I said, pick up the phone, call, advocate for the inclusion of a monthly IRS stimulus check. And WR did. He called Senator Chris Coons, Democrat, Delaware, Joe Biden's old confidant, and advocate for a stimulus check. And Chris Coons' office said, yes, he's including that stimulus check in there. And it was three weeks ago that this channel really took off. I think you noticed the change at the time. I started delivering a lot of exclusives, a lot of breaking news on the hour on about every developing detail about this recon. And at the time, I said, I believe that the House will be running the recon that's my exclusive. I was right. I believe that the House would vote first. They are. And I said that Bernie Sanders is critical to creation. He is. He's the guy that went into the negotiations and got the $3.5 trillion recon price tag and got the recon procedural passed. But at the time, three weeks ago, Bernie Sanders said, unlike prior budget chairmen in the Senate, I like to get out amongst the people when I'm doing a budget bill. I said, if you listen to those key words, he's saying he wants to hear from you. He wants you to advocate. And I said, pick up the phone and advocate. Call Bernie Sanders and advocate. And Brother Joshua did. Lynn Glenn did. And Margaret did. What does advocacy look like? If you knew this channel, let me show you what advocacy looked like. Advocacy involves you telling your personal story of why you need something. I need it because my family. This is what happened to my sister. This is what happened to my mom, my dad, my uncle, my brother. My town, my business, my church, I got to tell you why I need it. Everyone has a personal story and everyone can resonate and relate to a personal story that's unique to you. And I said, tell your personal story. Here's an example of two very powerful advocacy stories that came in in the last week. One is from Margaret, Margaret and one was from another viewer. Here's what Margaret wrote. She says when she called a senator's office, this is what happened. Honestly, I and the woman on the phone start crying when I explain everything I've been through that you're going to see a series of screen grabs from people writing them either on the live chat of the channel or in personal uh, private messages on social media. Another woman wrote, I've had 10 surgeries since my husband's passing during the pandemic. How am I supposed to raise two teenage daughters on SSDI and SSDI? That's not enough. And that's what Brother Joshua did. Who is Brother Joshua? A 2020 volunteer to the community page who helped thousands of viewers get fortunes under second stimulus for rent utilities. Purple Hawk and longtime for this channel picked up the phone and called Bernie Sanders' office advocating for a stimulus check. And Sanders' aide staffer said, Yes, starting monthly stimulus check $1,000 to $1,300, uh, three months to six months. But, and you remember the line I said, but he needs to hear from you. Over the last three weeks, I've always said the line he said he needs to hear from you. Now we know why this has been so important. And boy, did Sanders' office hear from us? Uh, this calls from LA viewers started really snowballing, and they came in from viewers like Donnie. You remember Donnie? Donnie writes what happened after his call with Bernie Sanders' staffer as well. Here's what Donnie writes. Donnie writes, I called Bernie Sanders and the secretary said they're, clo they're doing a forced stimulus check. That's what I need. My city needs it. I need it to progress. I need it for my water and everything. And I told her, and they said, okay, they're doing a forced stimulus check. The messages kept on coming on in daily, hourly from viewers like Donnie. Here's what they read. Hurricane Tina writes, I called Bernie's office. I got through and they said they're doing a forced stimulus check. It's getting in there. Lori writes the same. Here comes uh, Yaya who wrote, I called Wyden's office. They said they're doing SS200 in there as well. Here's what Carolyn wrote on the channel. I called Bernie Sanders' office. I talked to the secretary, said what I need, and they said, we're doing it. People are losing their homes and what they got, and Bernie is putting it into force to check. At that point, I told viewers, advocacy can involve multiple calls, 
And that's what Will did. I called Bernie Sanders and Chuck and Schumer's office and Liz Warren writes Will. Then later in his message, he says, Liz Warren said, office said they're doing $1,400 to $2,000 six to 12 months. Lorica called Bob Casey's office and writes, I got on, I spoke to the girl and I talked and they said, yes, there are negotiations for the stimulus check. At that point, we had nearly a thousand viewers of the channel getting the same confirmation after they advocate as well for inclusion of a monthly stimulus check. Getting confirmation from Sanders, Schoons, Warren, Schumer, Casey, Wyden, and Coons, the senators. But I said, pick up the phone and go over to now the, the House side, AOC, Jalapa, Omar, uh, Pelosi, uh, Sheila Jackson. And that is what Janice did, called Jalapal. And they did say they're doing a force to most check in there. Messages kept on coming in, like Mark uh, picking up the phone and calling over to Pelosi's office and writing the following. Pelosi said they're doing a force to most check, $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter, and they are currently negotiating it. And that is the face of that is the face of advocacy. That is what advocacy gets you. And the great news is that it's consistent. The messages this last week, the same thing. Three viewers getting confirmation again from Sanders office after advocacy. Donnie's wife getting confirmation from Chuck Schumer's office on Wednesday as well. There you go. Now let's turn to the developing details of what happened with the president and the recon and the statements about the recon. Let's go over those three wins for the recon on the progressives last week as well. It's important to remember what happened in the month of July. In the month of July, we had one bill only. It was roads and bridges and recon all together. It was one bill only. The president had a pushback for the moderates, moderate Democrats. They said, no, it's too big as one bill split into two bills. The president in a concession said, okay, to the moderates, I'll split into two bills in July, recon in one, and then the other one will be bipartisan, a.k.a. roads and bridges, a.k.a. infrastructure, uh, and that will be split up. But even though they're split, they're going to go in the same path together. They're going to be passed together. They're going to be voted on at the same time. And that you have to deliver both of them to me in the White House at the same time. I won't sign one. I must have both to sign, passed by both houses of Congress at the same time for me to sign in the White House. Very clear message. What happened since then? Well, as Liz Warren said last week, the modern Democrats broke their promise. First thing they did was they basically ambushed Nancy Pelosi. About a month ago, the Goth gang, led by Gothenheimer, House Democrat, got Pelosi to agree to call the vote on the roads and bridges this last Thursday. Now, what happened after then? Well, this last week had a lot of dramatics. The start of the week started with Pelosi upset at the moderate Democrats for not keeping their promise on the death ceiling limit. Yeah. Then the moderate Democrats, like Gothenheimer, just portraying the progressives really in negative light, saying they're a small group of people, they don't have a lot of supporters, and they're not following the president's wishes. All very untrue, very sort of trash-talking language. Then, the big shocker, as Joe Manchin delivered a scandal letter detail on this channel and used a scandal letter to say something it didn't say, to basically paint Chuck Schumer as a liar. Chuck Schumer fumed back saying, I didn't say that, that's not what the letter said. Then, we went into Wednesday night on the eve of the vote for the roads and bridges and the progressive caucus saying, you know what, we got 60 progressives ready to vote down the roads and bridges. Nancy Pelosi's margin of uh, victory in the House would be a three, margin of error is three people. She leads Democrats by three to, uh, over, over Republicans in the House. So she can't lose three votes. Well, she was set to lose 60 votes as of Wednesday night. Then, Thursday morning, the night of the day of the vote, another publication coming out from moderate trash talking the recon. Not good, to which Jalapal says, we had 60 votes, now we may have almost a lot more to vote down the roads and bridges. Nine o'clock comes up that Thursday night, and we're waiting for that vote on the recon at Nancy Pelosi on the Roads and Bridges. And Jalapal meets with her progressive caucus to confirm that they're ready to vote it down. Nine o'clock comes, no vote happens. Then a big twist of turns event. The president calls Brian D.C. into meetings with Chuck Schumer, Bernie Sanders, and also uh, 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 Kristen Sinema in Chuck's offices in the Senate. 
purpose to try to get the progressives to change course and vote in favor of the roads and bridges. No do. The meeting's over in 10 seconds, and Jalapal tells the progressives, hold your position. Do not change your position unless the moderate Democrats actually vote in favor of the recon bill. 10 o'clock comes on, no vote. Then, 10-10, the day is over. Steny Hoyer, the number two guy in the House, says, you can go home. Big win for the Demo for the Democrat progressives. I had told you, it doesn't matter if the Roads and Bridges passes, but if it doesn't pass, it's a big win for your recon. Big win, number one. Number two, Steny Hoyer says, come back and ready, get ready to vote on Friday. I tell you Friday morning, I don't see this vote happening good for the Roads and Bridges. It's either going to never happen or it's going to go down. And guess what? It doesn't happen. Win number two for the progressives. The Roads and Bridges vote doesn't happen. So then what happens? The president calls the Democrats house into a meeting and then a separate meeting with the senators and what does he say first there will be no vote ever on the roads and bridges until the moderate democrats agree to the recon wow that's a biggie that's win number three. Second, he says that i told pelosi to not call the vote and i'm instructing her to know to call the vote he specifically repeats what liz warren had said and what i had said which was i told you we had a deal Two bills, two pass, same time, vote on the same time, on my desk at the same time. No one was following my directions by trying to do just roads and bridges by itself. That's not what I said I was going to do. So you need to follow my directions. Thank goodness, keeping his promise. So what were some of the quotes from that meeting? Here are some of the quotes. I wrote the damn bill. Even a small bill can make historic investments. Then he says, I know a little bit about the legislative process. He said that the progressives will block the infrastructure vote unless we have an agreement on the recon. And that progressives need to get that those moderates on board. So what was the reaction? The reaction was a sort of mix, was both sides feeling that they got beat up a little bit. Henry Cooler from Democrat from Texas said that. But um, what basically happened then on Saturday? The president was asked on the South Lawn. I never remember if it's South Lawn or North Lawn, West Lawn or East. I don't know where it is. South Lawn, the White House. Uh, when? <laughs> calendar calling was out there with a calendar. When, Mr. President? And he said, don't ask me when. <laughs> oh, it was Wendy when. Yeah, Wendy went from Wensville, Missouri. Yeah, don't ask me when. He actually said that. I think he's watching this channel. He said, don't ask me when. He says, we are going to get it done, but I'm not going to give you a date and time. Huge. Here is what also happened the day before, which was Saturday. Um, and this is very, very important. The vice chair of the Progressive Caucus under Jalapal appeared on broadcast media to explain how the negotiations for the recon will now go forward. The recon has a series of programs in there, all checks for us, all checks for the viewers of this channel. That's what I cover in all these three clusters, checks and checks and more checks. She said, we're not removing any program whatsoever. She refers to a program sort of like a loaf of bread. We're not taking a loaf out. What we're doing is we're changing the how to pay for the program on the back end. The way they pay for the programs is by changing an old tax code, how it applies to corporations and how it applies to billionaires. And she explained that basically, you know, these modifications to tax codes are done by very, very sophisticated staffers. They're, you know, federal employees. They're not elected officials. And they figure out, I modify the tax code this way, it raised this amount of money for the federal government. I change it this way, it raises this amount of money for the federal government. She says, we're going to use those very, very brilliant people on staff to figure out different ways to pay for the programs. But we're not removing programs. <laughs> so, for here's an example. 15% for the purchase price, a purchase of a new electric bike. Remember that early in this video? It's not coming out. They're not taking the bikes out of the, out of the recon. They would change how to pay for the bikes by changing the corporate code so that it changes the, the pay for for that corporation. That's how they change on the back end. Also, um, it's important to understand that they're not changing how the program is administered either. So when I say 15% for the bikes, that's the program. They're not changing it to 17% for the bikes or 10% for the bikes. It's still 15% for the bikes. Now, this is another way they can sort of modify the loaf. Bernie Sanders, remember, he went into those negotiations for your recon in July. 
with $7 billion as his request. He came out ecstatic with $3.5 trillion. And he explained, I got every program I wanted paid for at 100%. I just shortened the time horizon. So here's an example. 15% for the purchase, by, purchase of a new electric bike. Well, he didn't come from 30% for the electric bike down to 15%. It's still 15%. So how did he get the same thing? Shortening the time horizon. So a lot of these programs are supposed to run for a certain number of years. He shortened the number of years it runs, for example, for example, from 20 years to 10 years. So instead of 15% for a bike for 20 years, meaning if you want to go buy a bike uh, in, in 18 years from now, you can still get 15% of the purchase price, they shorten and say, no, you have to buy the bike sometime in the next 10 years. It's still the same benefit to us. It's because you're going to get these benefits now. You're going to get these benefits in the next few months. You're going to get the next benefits in the next few years. It's just shortening the time horizon from several decades into a, into a decade uh, time horizon. That's an important uh, nuance that's important to show you to understand going forward. Meantime, what is the president doing uh, this week? The president, I really think, has to understand that the progressives have done exactly what they were requested to do. The president wrote the bill, the president came up with a price tag, and the president told the progressives to protect the recon. And they did. That's exactly what they did. What did the moderates do? They didn't keep their promise. <laughs> they tried to ambush everyone and have the roads and bridges voted on only. They didn't keep their promise of the death ceiling limit, and they trash-talked the progressives. I think the president's going to see this week that he's going to have to take a heavier hand with the moderate Democrats. And Certainly, the hand that we have on this channel is that if you're an Arizona viewer or you're a West Virginia viewer, stand up and be heard. Say, I want this money. I'm in Arizona. I want this money. And I want to give you my, my recording. I want to give you my email and tell you why it's important to me and why it's important to my family in Arizona, my family in West Virginia, and have yourself be heard. All right, let's turn over to Third Stimulus. Exciting details, and this is huge. Uh, third Stimulus has additional cash infusion, and this additional cash infusion is available right now. We can go over all this big money starting right now. It's important to understand that if you're in a red, blue, poor, or rich state, that money's landing. We're going to go over rent, utilities, mortgages, and more. First, the rent. Get a pen, paper ready, and cell phone. Here we go. Six places to reach out to. I'm going to go over each six, each of the six. They have different eligibility. Next, they have different pots of money. Then listen to the keywords I say in this video and then get ready for the nonprofits. Here are the six places. City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall, and State House Authority. And the keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID, mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. Next, if you're a member of this channel, which I hope you are, the link is under the video. Now you have the newsletter, including those six places and the treasury statement about the $13 billion. Read the Treasury letter first before calling up. Ask about it. Have you gotten it? Maybe they don't. Can you be on the waiting list? Then can you call tomorrow? Make sure you pounce because first come, first serve. Next, if you got multiple utility companies, reach out to all utility companies. And finally, the nonprofits. Wow. They are paying the same items the federal government pays for, just with different eligibility. So if you have an eligibility problem, don't worry. Lean on the nonprofits. Here are the five nonprofits also featured in the newsletter for members. United Way, Salvation Army, Community Action, Catholic Charities, St. Vincent de Paul. It's important to remember that the nonprofits also pay for items that are not in third stimulus, like, for example, clothing sometimes, homeless people into shelters, even small appliances. Viewers have gotten, two separate viewers have gotten refrigerators in the last week. They got their window fix, and they got a furnace as well. And here, again, are the five nonprofits. United Way, Salvation Army, Community Action, Catholic Charities, and St. Vincent de Paul. Well... Then let's go to the big um, money coming from SNAP. As we're sitting now in October, the huge numbers are that SNAP is going up an average of 25% lifetime automatically in the month of October everywhere nationwide. Yeah, I know you got that September letter that says you were going down. There's another letter. You're going up in October. SNAP, you get it from Department of Agriculture. It's a huge amount of money. Reach out to Department of Agriculture to get this money. And then finally, the big money from uh uh, unemployment benefits. It's coming back from your state due to overpayment of computer error. 
I'll reach out your state. Average payment is about three thousand to five thousand dollars, and then the refund check from IRS. Average payment of that is about twelve hundred dollars to two thousand dollars. If you got in any sums of money, post them in the live chat. You inspire other people. Margaret and Cod and Michael got this last pot of money. Linga and Gail got the money for Snap as well. Finally, if you haven't become a member, consider becoming a member today. The link is under the video. By becoming a member, you get the newsletter sent out by me, written by me, daily, Monday through Friday, 5 p.m., 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And it's sent out by the YouTube member alert system and the L8 alert system, totally free for you to sign up for. That membership gets you that newsletter that details the big money available in the first, second, and third stimulus for you to get. I'm excited for you to get that newsletter because that's how viewers like Johnny getting 80000 Mark 50000 Lorraine $105,000, detail all the big money available for you. Make yourself four promises this week, or at least three promises. First, advocate. Pick up the phone and advocate to as many offices as you can. Senators, House members, identify yourself as an ally. Advocate what you want. Think ahead of time before you call. Think about what's unique about your story, what's unique about your family or your home or your town or your church, your city or your business, and think about what you're going to say before you make the phone call. So that sounds professional, respectful, and very unique to your situation so that people can resonate to your story for your advocacy. Number two, reach out to the uh, get the big money available for rent and utilities as far as you can into 2022, if possible, because I don't think a lot of this money may repeat itself like rent under four stimulus. Then lean on the nonprofits. It's it was 80 degrees in Los Angeles on Sunday, Saturday. Yeah, very very hot. It's still relatively warm across the United States. That means that the nonprofits are not getting a lot of calls at the moment. The turnaround times have been great. Reports one viewer for rent from St. Vincent de Paul within 24 hours and United Way 24-hour turnaround time for after approval. This is when you get the money now. They're not getting a lot of calls. Don't wait until it gets cold outside because then you start getting flooded for the calls about heating oil and things like that. Make those phone calls right now. And with that, let's recap across the board. It's a big week. And this week, we will see the negotiations continue for that recon. It's important to understand that now legislators, progressives, Bernie Sanders' office, aides to Bernie Sanders' office, looking and listening and logging your comments, your emails, your voicemails, your messages of advocacy, advocating. I need it because, I need it because, lodging them so that when they, logging them so that when they go to speak to moderate Democrats, they can say, hey, are you really going to say, moderate Democrats, that Americans don't want it? Here are the message from allied viewers. They want it. Americans want it. Here is the evidence that Americans want it. All these phone calls, all these calls, call Sanders, Schumer, Warren, uh, Coons, Casey, and on the House side, Jalapal, the Vice Chair, Jackson, and then AOC, Omar, and also Pelosi. Advocate for that stimulus check. And I'll see you today throughout the channel. We have shows uh, at Morning's Countdown coming up next at 7 o'clock. Then Morning's LA at 9 a.m. Then shows throughout the day. And coming up right next is Overnight's Count to Overnight's Crypto. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers on YouTube record. I want you to part of this incredible family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video. Two, three thousand likes. And consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful day, and stay with Ally.